First, it's important to understand that the composer, Belloli, lived during the same time as Beethoven. So naturally, his music followed the elegant style of late classical period, like Mozart's, as well as more expressive nature of early Romanticism, like Beethoven. In variation two, make sure to bring out the syncopated rhythm highlighted by the accents. Staccatos should be more bouncy rather than just heavy, more on the lifted feeling rather than just trying to be very short. On the 16th notes, be sure to practice them slowly so the runs are even in rhythm. As for the grace notes, first practice without them so you can just hear the primary notes clearly. When you add the grace notes, place them in a way so that the following primary note lands in time on the proper beat. In other words, you might have to shorten the primary note before to squeeze in the grace note quickly enough so that the next primary note falls on time. In variation 3, prioritize moving the air always forward and keeping the momentum going. This will especially help you in big intervals. I would first practice the entire variation slurred just to get used to how the air will flow even though we're going to add the tongue later on. Play the mezzo forte dynamic slightly softer so that the forte dynamic at the double bar line is a clear contrast. In the falling arpeggios, again, I would practice them slurred and slowly, really to get the intervals in your head. Gradually switch to legato tongue, and then finally staccato as written. Keeping the air moving forward and continuous will help more than individually target practicing each note. In variation 4, while the tempo marking is marked lento, or slow, still try to feel the music in 3 quarter notes as opposed to 6 eighth notes. This will keep the music sounding more like an expressive song rather than a trudging dirge. Unlike variations 2 and 3, you can be much more expressive and lyrical in this variation. Bring out the half step motions, and like in variation 3, focus on keeping the air moving forward and continuous on large intervals. The trill at the end should sound fleeting and light. <laughs> 